So here I have my fabric folded um, into two. You can see one, two, and then I have three and four. And the other, this side is the folded side of the fabric. So I'm not going to show you how I folded it. So you fold it once like this. And then you fold it again but if you don't have a longer fabric then you can just use um, two different pieces to make this but just make sure that you start the measurements from the folded part so here is the folded part and I'm just arranging my fabric to make sure that it is very equal now I'm going to start taking my measurements from this folded part, from the folded edge. You can see it, this side is folded and that is where I'm going to start taking my measurements. So from the top here, I just went down by 6 inches. You can come down from the top by 5 inches or you can do 6 inches and then I am taking my round arm measurement divided by 2. My round arm measurement is 13 divided by 2 which is 6.5 then I added extra 1 inch but you should add um, 1.5 or 2 inches more to this. Then from the top here I'm going to draw a kind of like an inverted S and get all the way down to um, the mark I made earlier so now I have something like this so I'll go ahead and measure it to know what I have and after measuring it I had 10 inches Then I'll bring out my main fabric that I have already joined and I'm going to measure the, um, the, my round armhole. So after taking a measurement of the round armhole, what I got was 19 inches. So I divided the 19 inches by 2, which is 9.5 inches. So since nine, um, 19 inches divided by 2 is 9.5 inches and what I have here is 10 inches, what I have here is 10 inches so I have extra half inch allowance but I would advise that you should have um, like 1.5 inches or 2 inches extra allowance that is, just, that is just my advice especially for the beginners okay so because it's really better to have more you can always just sew it and then cut off the excess than having less although you can also adjust if you have less but more is better and then for the length of my sleeve um the length that i have here is 25.5 inches that's 25 and a half inches um the length that I have that I want my sleeve to be is 23 inches then for extra allowances for folding and for joining that is what made it up to 25.5 inches. Now I will come to the down part of the sleeve and I'm going to take uh, my round sleeve measurement which is 13 inches that just is just how wide I want my sleeve to be but if you want it to be more wide then you can go ahead and make yours more but I made mine 13 inches plus extra one and a half inches and I'm just gonna connect it down like this so I'm going to draw a slanted line to connect it to the down part so this is what my sleeve this shape of my sleeve is going to look like and now I'll just go ahead and cut off the excess So this is the sleeve that we are going to be working with. So I'm going to open it up. So here we have two sleeves for the one for the right hand side and the other for the left hand side. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to notch the midpoint. 
so I can know how to place it when sewing it to my garment so I just notched it now and the next thing I'm going to do is to go to my sewing machine and fold the bottom parts so I'll fold in half an inch and fold in again half an inch and just sew on it all along and then I'll do the same to the other sleeve as well so after I was done doing that I went ahead and joined the sleeve to my dress and this is what I am having looking very nice looking very really pretty and this is just a simple way to make um, this type of sleeve a trumpet sleeve so yeah please make sure to like this video share and please subscribe to my channel and I will see you on my next video